Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the menu board. Uh, so, uh, not the toolbar right here, it's a later tutorial, not the right click menu, just this menu bar. Okay, to create a menu bar you use a function called gtk menu bar new, this is create an uh, empty bar, a menu bar. Okay, and we need to add menu items to it. We use the GTK menu shell append for that to add menu items to it. And we set a submenu for this menu item, so GTK menu item set submenu, which will create this menu ri uh, right here. Okay, and this menu contains another, uh, so more menu items. Alright, that is the basic of the menu, so let's get started. First, uh, declare a few variables. This will be the menu bar, and we create a, a menu item. This will be a change every time we do uh, we create a new menu item. So we don't create every uh, different menu items for every menu. We create one menu item. Okay, and we need a file menu and the help menu. I plan to do these two menus. Okay, by the way, these are pointers as well, so don't forget them, or you get an error. Alright, and let me think. A, we need a vertical box and a button, just to demonstrate how you can add the things, buttons to the window if there is a menu bar, although it will not be too much surprise. Okay. And we define the menu bar first, so gtk menu bar new. It doesn't require any parameter. Okay, next we create a file menu. So a file menu equals the gtk file menu new. Oh, what am I doing? Not file menu, gtk menu new like that. Okay, and it requires no parameter. We do the same to the help menu. Okay, simple enough. Now we have to, because uh, if this is just this menu, so this rectangle, uh, not the actual menu item r right here, we have to create that uh, independently. So, menu item equals the GTK menu item new and actually we create it with label uh, as you get similar result than buttons case of buttons because uh, there is nothing in there if you just create it with new so we create it with label as you get an empty menu item right okay this the first will be file and uh, actually we act make the sub menu for now for uh, so now uh, to do that we use the gtk menu item set sub menu okay our menu item is the menu item we created so this file and the sub menu will be the file menu so this rectangle okay to create it you uh, first have to cast the first parameter to gtk menu item and uh, this will be uh, the menu item we just created and the second parameter is uh, the file menu so whenever you click to this fi uh, file menu so like that then it will appear okay and for and we add to this to the menu bar right now so we use the gtk menu shell append uh, for that and actually these are all the functions you need to know uh, to create the menus the menu new the menu bar new and the menu item new and the set side menu and the shell append this is all you have to know okay the first parameter is the uh, gtk uh, uh, so gtk menu shell and uh, the menu bar is inherited from menu shell so you can cast it back similarly the menu is uh, 
uh, inherited from menu shell so you can cast it back to menu shell okay so the this is the menu bar and the second parameter is what do you want to add to this menu bar we want to add this menu bar to the menu item so similar uh, so simple we just add a, f a file menu item here and we uh, set a sub menu this menu okay uh, we do the same thing with help menu okay to make it a little more time I just copy and paste it and try to rewrite everything that is needed to be rewritten uh, okay uh, menu help menu and uh, here too okay no no this not uh, this not no uh, I think I rewrite all that is needed to be rewritten okay I'm quite good at passive sentences all right uh, the next thing is uh, to add menu item to this menu to do that we use <coughs> we just create the menu item with the same function as we do here so okay here we go menu item okay the first one will be a new this will not do anything and it it and we set a s uh, and we add it to this menu with the gtk menu shell append Oh, bracket. So, menu shell, but the menu shell is now the file menu because we add it to the file. It is inherited from menu shell, so we can cast it back and the menu item. Okay, that's it. And uh, we create another one. This will be the exit. And uh, we create another one and we add this. And we add this to the help menu this will be the about and we add it to the help menu simple enough okay and now the only thing we need to d to do actually two thing we need to do is uh, to create the vertical box and the button so v box equals the gtk v box new zero zero and uh, the button is equal to gtk button new with label okay uh, without r and uh, the that's something to be there okay and we add this menu bar to the vertical box so gtk uh, box back start the first parameter is the box as you may remember this is the vertical box and the second is the menu bar because we add the menu bar to it and zero as we don't want to feel we feel expand or any spacing okay and we add the button to this vertical box as well like that I hope I didn't forget every anything the only thing is need need is to add this vertical box to the window. So GTK container add our container is the window and we uh, add the V box to it. Okay, I hope I didn't forget anything. We will see. Up that program. All oh right. Uh, okay. 23 then there's an error here because uh, this is a menu item okay that's it and uh, now we can compile the program and run it and this is the result as you can see we have a little menu bar right here with a file it doesn't do anything because we don't set any callback function neither the button okay we can add more m uh, menu items right here and menus and probably if you can do two you can do 20 if you want so 
uh, create a callback function call it static void menu uh, response okay the first is the gtk widget menu and the menu item and the second one is is just a g pointer data we set it to null okay and actually set the callback function first because i will forget it so whenever someone click to the new we call that function so g signal connect and we uh, the menu item the uh, signal so the event what it created is an activate similar to the entry and uh, we call the menu response and we pa uh, pass null to it okay and uh, we just connect these to all of the menu items like that okay and this will uh, use the label of these menu items to so we examine the label to them so we know what menu items did we click uh, to uh, to compare the strings we use the c string header file and uh, yep now we need the only thing if strcmp so the string compare function first parameter is is a string and the second is a string a c style string okay we use a gtk menu item get label function and the parameter is the menu item as usually the first parameter is the what we give back uh, so what does this what does emit the signal and uh, yeah it we need no parameter right here and the second what we do we want to compare we want to compare the new like that and actually we want to examine that is it zero because the because the, the strcmp i don't know how much how deep i talked about that will give back zero if the two string is completely equal so if they are equal we just do something for example uh, write out something g print you pressed uh, new okay and if it is uh, exit then we just exit from the program okay so equal to exit then we just uh, simple exit we use the gtk main quit for that uh, we call this the gtk main quit always in the callback function and actually this is this will exit from the program so we no, now don't call it with the callback function we call it manually uh, okay and uh, we need another one for the about about and then we just write out that about is pressed uh, later you can do a uh, dialog or something so you pressed about all right that's it for the signal okay and now if we get the terminal right here and if i press new it uh, right out that you press new if i press about it will press you press about if I press exit, it will exit from the program, as you can see. Uh, that's it. And uh, uh, if you want to uh, get another perspective for menus, check the Curious Dev Developer, I guess. Uh, 
YouTube page. If I don't forget, I will link it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.